What is up guys? Robeats here. And I'm going to be talking to you guys and pretty much giving a quick lecture on some of my thoughts. So, right now, what, why, right where you are right now, I want you to do something for me. I want you to get a piece of paper and write down the word love. That's right. I want you to write down the word love with a question mark. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to put bullets. I want you to put bullets on what you what love means to you. And you can pause this video and come back. Did you do it? Okay. Now let me let me just say what mine is. Love. Love is what two people share when they really care about each other. They are infatuated with each other. They respect each other. They are the best of friends. And they would never hurt each other. And there is no physical... And in my definition of love, there is no physical boundaries when it comes to this. A lot of people get confused in these days, society, whenever we talk about love. And I want you to look at yours and see if it kind of matched up to mine. I'm not saying that yours is wrong. I'm pretty sure most of y'all's are right. But pe some people, some people would have put physical, as in sex, or making out, or any, any of that. Like, physical, just, yeah. And a lot of other people would say social. Like, it's a social thing. Like, you're in love with somebody because of the social standard behind it. That is wrong. Love isn't anything physical. And I know you can say, oh yeah, yeah it is, bro. You, you don't understand, because you don't understand because you're just a virgin and you just, you've never, you've never done anything like that. Yes, that may be true. But guess what? I actually know the true definition of love. And that is what I'm going to be telling you guys today. So sit back, kick up your feet, and let's have a discussion. So I want you to look at everything that's on your chart. And I want you to be honest with yourself. Pick three. Pick three, and if you only have about two, that's fine. Uh, pick about three. And I want you to put those three at the top. Me. My three are respect, best of friends, and basically just them being there. Their presence. Love isn't something that goes away. At least the true definition. I know in today's, like I said before, I know in today's social standards that's all wrong because apparently you want to get into a relationship for sex or for the social standard. When in reality, that's not love. Love consists within you whenever you feel something more for a person. How do you love your parents? How do you love your siblings? That's right there is love. You respect them. You are the best of friends. You know them well. And their presence, just their presence is enough. That is love. But there are different variations of what people consist of. But I'm going to tell you this. If you're watching this and you're in high school like I am, just because you are physically with this person, like you've been, like, physical, sorry for that, but you've been physical with this person, that does not mean you love them. I, I know it's hard to say, I know it's hard to believe that, but it's not love. That's lust. And there's a differentiating barrier whenever it comes to love and lust. Lust is a physical attribute. Lust is the need to be physical with the boy slash girl. The, the need to kiss them. The need to cuddle with them. To be physical with them. That is lust. But then you have 
love, which is a mutual respect between partners who actually think the world of each other. Like, for instance, if I'm in a relationship, I couldn't care less about the physical things in a relationship. I'm in it because my heart feels something for that relationship. And I want to be in this relationship because I like the person. Not because of the physical things that are going to come out of it. That's not what love is truly. That's not what a relationship should be and is going to be built off of. Love is something that you and your partner can say to each other every day without without being ironic or without just not meaning it at all. Like people nowadays, they just get into sexual relationships and they think that's love and it's not. That's lust. And it's not bad to be in a sexual relationship. If that if you're in love with this person, that is fine. But about nine times out of ten, you really just don't care. Like, people don't care. And they just have sex to have sex, and they have, they're physical to be physical, and social standards and shit. But, that's not, again, that's not the true reason to be in love. To find your soulmate. To be with somebody for life. But most guys and girls can't handle that. They want to be with this guy one day and this guy one day. Guys, this girl one day, this girl one day. That's not how love works. You don't love the person if you do that. Love is whenever you feel something special. Feel something in your heart, in your brain, in everything around you. You know love. If you don't feel that, odds are it's not love. It's lust. And... Physical attraction is fine. If you're physically, like, if you see somebody who has something that you like, that's fine. Infatuation is the first step in falling in love. If, But you have to be able to move past that. Being able to move past the infatuation stage means that you're on the right road to going to love. And love is a good thing. It's not all, don't get me wrong, it's not all rainbows and sunshine. It's not all happy. Relationships are bumpy. That's, that's life. You fight with your siblings. You fight with your mother, your brother, your dad, your, everyone. You fight, you fight with your best friends, but you love them. Nothing can break that. So why? When you say that you love your sibling, you fight, but the next day you're fine with them. But you can't do that when it's someone that you have no relation to. It's not love. Love is something that both of you feel. Love is something that is so powerful that you'll feel it when that person is next to you. Love is supposed to be everything. Love is inside of us all. We all love something. We all love someone. So, and if you're in a relationship and you can't get past the infatuation stage, then why are you in a relationship to begin with? Because in the end, you're just going to hurt yourself and the other people involved. Love is not something that comes and goes. Love is not temporary. Love is permanent. If you don't feel this way, then that's not love. Love is something that you feel every day inside of you. It's something that all of us live with and all of us search for. Love is something that all humans have and need. So don't be a douchebag. Don't be all worried about social standards and having 
physical things. Be with that person because you respect them and love them enough to tell them that I want to be with you. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Hand to God. Be honest. Be truthful. If you can't be that, then maybe love isn't for you. And you shouldn't lie to people. Because if you cheat on the person that you're with, then you clearly don't know what love is, and you clearly don't deserve it. So next time... Next time someone either cheats on you, or you cheat on somebody else, remember this video right here. Remember this video right here. And just know you heard it here first. The differentiating barriers between love and lust. Be passionate. Be grateful. Be yourself. That's what love is. Thank you guys for watching so much. Comment, rate, subscribe if you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys in the next video. Or who beats out?